Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two stones, one in the proximal and the other in the distal portion of the ureter. Another smaller video will follow this video, which will show scanning of another stone in the ureter. You can see the left kidney and ureter is being traced and you can see a stone in the proximal portion of the ureter. If the ureteral blockage is not treated, urine can come back and damage the kidneys. This can cause pain and the patient at risk of infection. In, in severe cases, a ureteral obstruction can lead to the kidney failure, sepsis and life-threatening infection. You can see the ureter seen in the upper portion of the ureter, upper one-third of the ureter in the proximal portion. Now the ureter will be traced and another video is seen, uh, another stone is seen in the distal portion of the ureter. Now you can see the stone is small this is left kidney and you can see a stone this is the ureter and this is the stone a small stone the focusing of the ureteral stone requires a bit of practice in the probe handling you can see this is a small stone and it measures about 6 millimeter, 6.2 millimeter, a small stone, but you can see the, it has been focused. And another stone of similar size, you will see in the distal portion of the ureter. Now you can see the scanning of the ureter the hydrogenator is very minimum as the stones are smaller a unitat infection may result when bacteria becomes trapped in the urine that pools above the blockage when the stone block the urinary tract for a long time urine backs up in the tubes inside the kidney causing excessive pressure that can cause the kidney to swell, hydronephrosis, and eventually damage, damage it. Now you can see another stone is visible in the distal portion of the ureter, distal one-third of the ureter, and this stone is also a smaller smaller stone this is the left ureter and the stone is seen in the distal portion of the ureter close to the ureter of junction Now this stone measures about 6.0 millimeter, almost the same size of the stone seen in the proximal portion that measured about 6.2 millimeter. This stone measures about 6.0 millimeter. Now you will see another video which will show the focusing of the ureter, ureteric stone. Focusing of the ureter requires a bit of practice, practice in the probe handling as you scan the ureter. Now this is another case and in this case also a small stone is seen in the kidney and 
a small stone is seen in the ureter. This is the stone. Now this stone measures about 7.5 millimeter. And now you will see the focusing of the ureterate stone. Now you can see the scanning of the ureter. This is the stone in the kidney. Now you will see the ureter is being traced and a stone is seen in the ureter. This stone measures around about 10 millimeter and small concretions are also seen along with this stone. Ureteral blockage can lead to kidney damage, kidney stones and the infection. Symptoms can include pain in the affected site, decreased or increased urine flow and urinating at night. Symptoms are more common if the blockage is sudden and complete. A stone can remain in the kidney for years or decade without causing any symptoms or damage to the kidney. Typically, the stones will eventually move through the urinary tract and is passed out of the body in the urine. A stone may cause pain if it becomes stuck and blocks the flow of the urine. Around 8% of kidney stones that are smaller than 4 mm will pass on their own in about 30 days. Approximately 60% of the kidney stones that are 4 to 6 mm will pass on their own in about 45 days. Usually treatment includes pain relievers and drinking plenty of water to help pass the stone out of the unit tract. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.